Hi, my name is uh, Daryl Jackson. I'm the uh, senior lecturer in missiology at uh, Morling College in Sydney. Morling's um, a college that has a basic Baptist um, framework, but trains students from a whole wide range of um, both church backgrounds and uh, ministry backgrounds. Um, why would I decide to come to Hong Kong and spend these days uh, at a conference when there are many other things in a, a typically busy program at the end of semester, papers to be graded, exams to be looked at, and uh, lots of admin to be done at this time of year. Very busy. So why am I, why am I here? I think the reason I'm here is because um, it's very easy when your nose is up against the uh, grindstone of day-to-day, week-on-week, uh, college life, lecturing, meeting students, preparing the lecture material, delivering the lecture material. To just lose a sense of broader perspective and um, you miss the broader horizon in terms of what are others doing in the area of engaging with students from both oral cultures uh, and students whose preferred learning styles are oral in nature. Um, and so the, the range of things that I'm currently trying to implement in the classroom by way of uh, delivery of course material, uh, the assessment of course outcomes, uh, which are relying upon uh, oral, more oral methods, uh, so case study approaches, um, we're using biblical storytelling as a form of assessment for part of our cross-cultural communication course. It's good to have uh, the opportunity to meet with peers who are doing similar things or doing different things and to find out uh, is what I'm doing, um, be, is it seen as having uh, integrity uh, academically in other places? Um, I think it's just that ability to, to meet others who are trying to struggle with similar questions that I'm struggling with and finding a measure of affirmation for some of the things I am doing, uh, being able to learn from what others are doing. And uh, hopefully together what we're collectively then doing is slowly building um, a large pool of expertise and experience uh, that uh, eventually, um, I, I'm really hoping and, and praying that uh, our experiences in the classroom will lend uh, themselves to offering the, uh, the practice support that I think is needed in order to establish uh, orality and oral methods uh, within the broader academic uh, mainstream and uh, that would be partly uh, I, my prayer for a, a consultation such as this one. That's why I'm here. So if there is anything that you're going back to Australia with that uh, um, is going to be affected as a result of what you've gleaned so far, what might at least one of those things be? Yeah, the, one of the interesting things about um, my own um, academic career, you can probably tell although I'm working in Australia, uh, that I'm not Australian, I'm uh, from the UK, uh, moving, uh, having moved to Australia fairly recently. And one of the things that struck me immediately about my um, time in uh, Australia was the length of time it takes many of our students to complete their studies, um, their programme of studies. Uh, it could be an undergraduate uh, Bachelor of Ministry, Bachelor of Theology, uh, or for those who already have their first degree, it could be an MDiv programme. Um, and um, many of these students will be with us for uh, six, seven, eight years uh, as they complete their programme of studies. And the, the immediate question was, why, why does it take so long? You know, it, it, typically the residential um, seminary program is a three-year program, uh, and you then move on out and uh, start ministry. What I've discovered um, in Australia, which uh, was uh, certainly important in the UK, but it, it's particularly uh, common in, in Australia, is many of our students are in pastorate. They're, they're, they're in a sense, in, they're in an intern position. So they're, they're actually training on the job. So uh, a typical pattern, even for our full-time residential students, will be that at weekends they're required to be engaged in uh, Sunday ministry in a congregation to which they are attached, um, maybe one or two throughout their time at uh, college. Uh, but particularly those who are studying part-time, uh, it's not unusual for, t for us to have students on campus for two days of the week and then for the three days of the, the remainder of their working week, they're back in their uh, local church, engaged in Sunday ministry, weeknight ministry. And so the classroom becomes not just a, a venue for the delivery of information, but it becomes a place where we reflect together on the students' journeys of discovery and learning. And I think what I've um, particularly uh, seen in a fresh perspective uh, through being here is, um, and, and hearing a number of colleagues 
here talking about um, some of the difficulties of the transition that students find they have to make when they leave a full-time residential program and suddenly they have to go into ministry. Um, I, I think it's given me a new perspective on some of the benefits of um, students who are in pastorate yeah, in this internship type position and uh, the classroom is just there to supplement and build upon what they're already learning in their ministry week by week, day by day. It's great. Well,